Hello and congratulations to all graduates. My name is Rebecca Long and I'm from the class of 2020. Today, I have the honor of announcing the winner of the Football Cup. The Football Cup is awarded to the student who best exemplifies what a successful Football Academy student is. This student has dedicated their lives to being excellent in their studies, to being the best residential student and friend that they can be, to being a leader, and to improving their English language abilities. The winner of 2020 to 2021 FOFA Cup is Rachel Huntington. Congratulations, Rachel. Hello and congratulations to all graduating students. My name is Monetsuwaka and I am from the class of 2021. Today, I have the honor of announcing the winner of Williams Award. The Williams Award at Fulford Academy is present to the student who through all aspects of their life at the academy best demonstrates the value of integrity, fairness, and respect. The recipient is all students who most values and consistently shows respect for the academy community. And it will also be seen as fair and honest in their dealing with their peers and the staff, and must demonstrate great integrity in their decisions and in their school life. The winner of 2020-2021 Williams Award is Pete. Congratulations, Pete. Good job. Hello and congratulations to all graduation students. My name is Emre and I am from the class of 2022. Today I have the honor of announcing the winner of the E. Armstrong Award. The E. Armstrong Award is awarded to the students who has shown the largest amount of growth over the course of the school year. These students have improved in all aspects of their life while attending Full Fort Academy. They have improved in their language ability, they have improved in their academics, and they have grown and measured as a friend and as a peer. The winner of the 2020-2021 E. Armstrong Award is Shun Temu. Congratulations Shun, well done. Hello and congratulations to all graduating students. My name is Leo Pan and I'm from the class of 2020. Today I have the honor of announcing the winner of the faculty award. The faculty award at Fulford Academy is presented to the students who have shown the greatest enthusiasm and ongoing commitment towards their academic studies while at Fulford Academy. The award goes to the student who is always eager and ready to learn, who has shown improvement in the knowledge and use of the English language, and who has put forth a great effort to learn English. The winner of the 2020 to 2021 Faculty Award is Myron Lady Janko. Congratulations, Myron. Hello, and congratulations to all graduating students. My name is Anita, and I am from the class of 2015. Today, I have the honor of announcing the winner of the Student Award. The Student Award is presented to a Fulbright Academy student through a vote of their peers. The student receiving this award has been an exceptional all-around student and is seen by their peers as a person that has been supportive of others throughout their stays, has shown leadership, and has gone out of their way to make others feel welcome at Fulbright Academy. The winner of the 2020 to 2021 Student Award is... Drumroll! 
Mon Soroka. Congratulations, Mon. Hello and congratulations to all graduating students. My name is Alice Tomescu and I'm from the class of 2020. Today I have the honor of announcing the winner of the Volunteer Award. Community involvement in school and the broader community is an integral part of Food for the Academy. Food for the Academy strives to provide students with valuable volunteering learning experiences to help develop students into active citizens. Having active community members is vital to the success of any town or city. Therefore, it is important to recognize the Food for Student with the largest contribution to our community through volunteerism. The winner of 2000-2021 Volunteer Award is Simon Zhang. Congratulations and great work, Simon. On behalf of all the staff members and students in BD House, I'm pleased to announce that our BD House Award winner for this school year is Brianna Zielinski. Congratulations. And the Fraser House Award for the 2020-2021 school year goes out to two wonderful individuals. Congratulations to Monet and Pete. Yay! Hi everyone. This year we had a lot of great students in Greenhouse. And there are a lot of leaders to choose from, but today I'm happy to announce that this year's winner for the Greenhouse Leader Award goes to Salma. Well done, Salma! This year's Jones House Award goes to an outstanding young man whose unfailing positivity was recognized despite the difficult year. Congratulations, Alec. Well done and well deserved. For Mathematics 10, the awards are for Achievement to Vera Moon and Effort to Jesse House. Awards for Grade 11 Economics for Achievement to Thea Lee and for Effort to Kenny Wu. Congratulations to everyone. The winner for Grade 11 Functions is Ritika. The winner for Grade 12 Advanced Functions is Miran. The winner for Grade 11 Accounting is Aurel. The winner for grade 12 accounting is Jacob. The winner for calculus and vectors is Miran. The winner for AP calculus is Rachel. The winners for grade eight math are Andrew, Soyun, and Vincent. And the winner for grade seven math is Ben. Congratulations, guys. Hello everyone, Mrs. McMillan here, um, and congratulations to all of our students, and I would like to present my classroom awards. For grade 11 American History, congratulations Pete. For grade 11 Introduction to Anthropology, Psychology, and Sociology, congratulations Alexia. For grade 12 World History, congratulations Kirk. 
For grade 11 world history, we had a tie. Congratulations to Pete and Kenny. And for grade 10 Canadian history, big congratulations to Eugen, one of our online students. Well done all of you and well deserved. Hello everyone. Today I'm happy to present my class awards. This year's award for grade nine integrated arts goes to Sarah. The award for grade 10 literacy goes to Jesse. The award for middle school art goes to Vincent. The award for grade seven social studies goes to Ben. The award for grade eight social studies goes to Vincent. The award for grade seven language arts goes to Ben. And the award for grade eight language arts goes to So Young. Well done, everyone. For grade 11 visual art, Pete Kautuantian. Congratulations. For grade 12 visual art, Shun Temo. Congratulations. For middle school, PE and health, Vincent Huntington, congratulations. Hello, so uh, giving out some class awards for English and also Canadian history. Uh, the award for grade nine English this year goes to Aaron. The award for grade 10 English goes to Vera. The award for grade 11 English this year uh, goes to Kenny. The award for grade 12 literacy, OLC 40, goes to Rachel. The award for grade 12 English literature uh, for the grade 12 Bs goes to Miran. And Canadian history, grade 12, the award goes to Kirk. Hi everyone, Miss Edgley here. Um, my awards for the 2020-2021 school year are Jesse House and Sasha for Grade 10 Computer Science and APCSP, for Civics, Hillary, for Careers, Vera, for Grade 11 Law, Ritika, for Grade 9 Technology, Lizzie, Sarah, and Aaron for grade 12 computer science, science, Miran and Alexandra, for grade 11 communications technology, Pete, and for grade 12 law, Jacob. Congratulations, everyone. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ryan, and I'm happy to announce our award winners for this year's courses. For grade nine health and physical education, our award goes to Emilia Benoit. For Grade 10 Health and Physical Education, our award goes to Jesse House. For Grade 11 Health and Physical Education, our winner is Alexia Morales. For Grade 12 English, our winner is Rachel Huntington. And for Grade 12 Challenge and Change and Grade 12 Human Growth and Development, our winner is Kirk Mao. Great job, everybody. Hello everyone, congratulations on completing a difficult year. My class awards for grade six phys ed go to Bella McDonald. Grade seven phys ed goes to Ben Musset. Grade nine geography goes to Brianna Zielinski. And for grade 12 healthy and active leadership class goes to Miran Ledijenko. Great job everyone and have a great summer. Hi, I would like to congratulate all the graduates and the award winners today. It is my privilege to announce the award winners for the courses that I taught this year. This year, the Grade 12 Physics Award goes to Mira. The award for Grade 12 Mathematics of Data Management goes to Ege. For Grade 9 Science, Aaron is the winner. For Grade 11 Physics, Dennis. The award for grade nine math goes to Lizzie. The award for grade 10 science, 
goes to Jesse. The award for grade six science goes to August. The award for grade seven science goes to Ben. The award for grade eight science goes to Vincent. Congratulations to all of the winners. Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Verona Dejenko. I am from Minsk, Belarus, and I'm 18 years old. For 17 years, I lived in Belarus, and I, and I never imagined that I would be standing here. Uh, my journey in relationship with Canada began when I, when I, when I was six months old. Uh, I was brought to Canada by the Canadian Aid for Chernobyl uh, to seek medical help. Uh, doctors in Belarus labeled me as an invalid. So I have spent summers in Canada uh, since I was eight years old. At the 12 years, I was asked to act uh, as Master of Ceremonies for Canadian Aid for Chernobyl's annual fundraising gala. I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be a part of something important and to give back to others. Uh, I have been asked to be a Master of Ceremonies every year since. So this explosion in Brockville led to my sponsorship to complete my OSSDE at the Fulford Academy. Uh, this is my first school. At Fulf uh, before Fulford Academy, I attended three different schools in Minsk. But two years ago, when I attended the sound program at Fulford Academy, I started to notice the difference between systems and cultures. Uh, back in Belarus, uh, students, they really rely on themselves. Uh, they do everything that, on their own. But in Fulford Academy, I learned something new, something that I never that I, that I wasn't used to. Uh, it's a feeling of unity, feeling of home, feeling of a team. It's when you walk into the building, see friendly faces, and realize that everyone is here to help, to provide, and to support. Before, I always believed that in the atmosphere of competition, where people strive to be the best and want to beat everyone, is the best environment uh, to find solutions. And it's not the case nowadays, I was wrong. And thanks to the teachers of Fulford Academy and my teachers, Miss Best, Miss Edgley, Miss Murray, Miss Shackles, Miss Delaney, Mr. Payne, for showing me different teachers' approaches, uh, their willingness to work as a team, willingness to help, and the variety of group assignments. And all of that together proved to me that a team is what makes people stronger and help achieve great results. A team can do much more than just a single person. So I want to thank everybody who is here right now and who can be here today for the opportunity to start a new life here. Sorry. To start a new life here at Fulford Academy. Uh, I'm so grateful for the amazing, for such an amazing experience in life. Uh, two years ago, when my mask told me, when my mom told me that I was given a chance to study here at Fulford Academy for two full years, I became speechless. I didn't know what to say. I was so amazed. And here, right now, I'm standing in front of you on the graduation day, grade 12. And thank you very much. And in three months I will go to the University of Guelph and continue my education here. And one last thing, just before I go and take my seat at the table, I want to thank another two persons here who are sitting right there, Eric and Peggy, my family. Without you, my journey wouldn't be possible. Say thank you for letting me into your life. And say thank you everyone for giving me a chance to live my dream. Thank you. graduates, friends, family members, and staff, I am honored to speak from the screen 
and it is a pleasure to close one of the pages of our life today. My name is Monet Tsuroka and I know this is not a typical graduation ceremony this year. We cannot take pictures with graduates, friends, teachers and family in front of the school with having our diploma. But we still graduate today and our new journey is about to begin. As we all know, after COVID have happened, we all haven't been able to do some usual things. But no matter what we do or where we are, we are champions. We could make it this year, kind of. So, please, please, please be proud of yourself. I really don't read a book, but I have a quote today from Alchemist. As Alchemist in a novel said, we are travelers on a cosmic journey, stardust thrilling and dancing in the eighties and whirlpools pools of infinity. Life is internal. We have stopped we have stopped for a moment to encounter each other, to meet, to love, to share. Most of us in Fruitful Academy come from different countries and we met here. So I really believe often people meet each other not by a chance, but because they were mean to meet. It was a precious moment at Fulford and the moments we spent and memories we made together will never fade. To conclude, thanks to all Fulford teachers, staff, residential team, we could spend wonderful uh, school and residential life. And thank you for always being supportive. Thanks to my family for giving me a great opportunity to experience life outside of Japan. And thanks to all students and all my friends for all fantastic memories we spent and experienced. Again, congratulations and happy graduate to all. Good luck to the class of 2022. Thank you. Hello and well done to all the students and graduates of the 2020-2021 school year. Well, I don't know what we all expected when school started three years ago in September, but in hindsight, the year we spent together was probably exactly what we should have expected. We all hoped that things would be normal, but of course they never were going to be. I mean, really, we started the year with masks on our faces, windows on our desks. Why did we think it was going to be normal? I have a guess though. It's because no matter what, this group of students were full of energy and hope. And this is what made going, what I'm going to remember long, long into the future. I remember the first few months of school, the trepidation, the anxiety, the adjusting to change, and eventually students coming together as a community and taking on a mentality of, we are all in this together, so let's make the best of it. I'm incredibly proud of this and can honestly say that I personally took solace and energy from the student body this year. You all have been the driving force at the school. You pulled us through and gave us the power to keep going day in and day in. For this, I thank the entire student body. To my grade eights, from the outside, people, maybe even yourselves, are going to think grade eight to grade nine, what's the difference? Grade nine is a big deal. You're high school age now. You've been in school for at least nine years and only have four left. Over the next four years, you're going to experience more change than you ever have in your life. Personally, emotionally, societally, you name it. I'm not saying this to scare you, not at all. What I am saying is, I'm, or I'm trying to prepare you for the ride. Keep your hands and arms inside the cart, hang on and enjoy. When you wake up one day over the next few years and you're just sad, angry, hungry, for no reason, remember, you aren't alone. We'll be here for you. We'll be here to boost your confidence after a bad haircut and remind you that you're amazing. To my grade 12s, get in. 
Honestly, I can I, I can say as a history teacher, since like World War II, there has not been a group of students who have had a crappier grade 11 and grade 12 experience than you folks. When you were supposed to be worrying about universities, social circles, learning to drive, maybe getting a job, you had to worry about literally the health of everyone around you at all times. And waking up every morning having no idea if you were even going to be allowed to go to school. I'm sure the thought, you know, I have an 80 or I need to get an 85 in this class, but I don't even know if I'm going to go to school tomorrow. That, that's great. Excellent. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm sure that went through your head at some point. So what did you guys do? You put on smiles, said, meh, it is what it is. And powered through like beasts. You are incredible. You inspire me. You're the bravest group of people I know right now. And everyone in this school owes you a debt of gratitude for that. I couldn't be prouder of you all going on to do great, amazing things. Great and amazing. Yeah. For my words of wisdom this year, uh, I'm going to paraphrase the song, Get Up by Shine Down. I know I won't sing, I promise. I know you're clinging to the light of day to tell you everything's a-okay. And medication don't do much, it just numbs the brain. Guess you might say I'm a little intense. I'm on the bright side of being hellbent. So take it from me, you're not the only one who can't see straight. There ain't nothing normal when it comes to me and you. I'd rather twist myself in knots to watch you, watch you give up on your dreams. If you were ever in doubt, don't sell yourself short. You might be bulletproof. It's hard to move mountains when you're paralyzed, but you've got to try. So get up, get a move on, get up, stop stalling. I'm calling you out because I believe you can be whatever. And I agree you can do much better. Trust me. And for the Mr. Uh, Mr. Ryan and, and Mrs. McMillan, um, I know how cringy that was for you. So you're welcome. Remember, no matter where you are or what you're doing, you have a family at Fulford Academy. We're here to support you, guide you, pat you on the back, kick you in the pants, whatever you need. We were all in your shoes at some point. So to all the graduates, to all the students this year, congratulations. <laughs>